六十分二万七千円。高い高い高い。エイスタップ。Uh oh! Look out! If you don't like the new She-Hulk CGI, it's not because it's bad. It's because you hate women and you're a misogynist. Ooh, you filthy little pig! But the times when you get to be legitimately violent against women is one of the joys in life. You should probably drown yourself. You're a walking advertisement for abortion, <laughs> according to the director.、Uh. Of She-Hulk, who responded to all of you incels about not liking the new She-Hulkies. You know, in terms of CGI being critiqued, I do think that has to do with our cultural belief in their ownership of women's body. What a pivot shift, mother of God! People are like, "Wow, it looks like Shrek." The first trailer, and this person, who I'm a hundred percent sure is either a woman or a man, that's so soy fed he has man. No! Can I say that still? Or am I being culturally insensitive? The community guidelines never tell me what I'm doing wrong. And it's getting pretty tired now in 2022. You may have gotten away with it in 2016, but people are fed up. In this new version of America, where everything's absolute garbage and pandering to interest groups have done nothing but boost crime waves and give a sh** their streaming shows. Uh oh, Stu, I forgot not to curse. I think a lot of the critiques come from the feeling that they're able to tear apart the CGI woman. It looked bad. How can you not take any criticism? These are the murmurings of a person that's been completely and utterly sheltered their whole lives. And has a whole shelf full of participation trophies. If only someone dragged this person into a corner as a child and told them, "Listen, you suck. Maybe you need to step it up." He's a real flat tire. I mean, a cute man. He's putting us on the train to Squaresville, Mona. I'm not in the mood today. I'm serious, Stu. I've got a serious headache.、I、haven't eaten in a while. Keto diet's killing me, and I wasn't able to buy my limited edition sasabi. I'm in a poor mood. There's a lot of talk about her body type. What what, what was the talk? I, I didn't even notice. I think She Hulk looks good. You know, she looks like the She Hulk from the original comics. What's the problem? Oh wait, hold on. Is this person, who I'm sure is a woman, complaining about the CGI look, which was bad, and they're trying to say that people are upset about She Hulk's body, which basically means they're talking about the weirdos on Twitter, the sick freaks, you know the ones. Who like to have muscular pictures of women where chicks are so roided up they make Arnold Schwarzenegger prime look like a twink? Those freaks! Are you trying to like put us all in the same ranks as sexual degenerates? Oh my shit! I hate Twitter. It should burn. When you go to hell, you end up on Twitter. That's what I think. And you know we based her on Olympian athletes and not bodybuilders. But I think we gone the other way. We would still be facing some criticism. Yeah, you'd make like probably five thousand weirdos on Twitter that have tons of alts and they spam accounts, and they're like, oh, oh, why doesn't She Hulk have a penis? Oh, you know, <laughs> it's those people that she's talking about. The rest of us normal human beings are like. You know the CGI kind of sucks, but at least She-Hulk looks like She-Hulk, and they're focusing on the furries that have like bodybuilding fetishes. But meanwhile, the people into it are built like Teletubbies. <sighs> What is it, Stu? I didn't make the ten-minute mark. I'll give you eight at best. I don't care what the YouTube crap says. Eight minutes minimum. Ah,、uh, Jamila Jamil, remember her? Basically, I made fun of her for. She's supposed to be off of Twitter. What is she doing back on Twitter? Number one, when Elon Musk was buying it, she was deleting her account. How dare you come back, Jamila? You are a phony and a charlatan. Remember when Trump won the election and all those really Nimrod celebrities back when California was in a homeless shelter were like, "Oh my God, I'm leaving the country," and I was like, "Get out, leave, share, get out of here." You act. I hope Trump comes back so she can threaten to leave again, but won't go anywhere. 
should go to a different wing of her house and put up a Canadian flag. Okay, I need to stop. Anyway, Jamila Jamil defends Marvel fans. Normally, they're right. Well, I'll give you that. Normally, they're right. Unless they're sexual perverts on Twitter, praying to God they have photos of them drawn where She-Hulk is crushing their skull. I genuinely think, like, uh, Jamila knows that the tide is changing and it's going from hyper-pandering to political correctness to actually agreeing with fan bases. I, uh, let's see. People are upset she was wearing a wig. It's just a wig. I love the MCU. I love the Marvel fan base. I respect them. And I was merely making sure that they knew that I was with them. I was reassuring them. I'm on their side. And so I never mind any criticism and feedback. Frankly, if anyone's going to complain about anything, in my opinion, for Titana, it's the costume itself. I had no idea Jamila Jamil was supposed to be Titana in the trailer. I looked at the trailer and I thought, oh, this must be some new Marvel character, like poorly dressed mom or a Karen character, you know, like some chick named Betty. She goes to Las Vegas every year and she wears this horrible outfit and she plays Whitney Houston, Queen of the Night. I had no idea she's Titana. Doesn't look anything like Titana. I get Titana nowhere from this. Oh, her, her wig is red. Whoop, whoop, the friggin' da. It's sad when these like films and shows come out and they literally have to tell you who the character is because they change so much you don't know who the hell it is. Now that's that. You don't like She-Hawk, you're a bigot. You piece of garbage. You, you cisgendered male. You're, you're part of the patriarchy. 